Advice A. I got this advice from a friend of mine who works in fashion. She recommends you completely reorganize your wardrobe. Set aside ten minutes one day. Make a list of your five favorite outfits and hang them all together. Right. Then stick the list inside the door of the wardrobe. And when you can't think of what to wear, just look at the list and wear one of the outfits.、Yeah. Well, I tell you, my friend swears it saves her a lot of time. Advice B. Rule number one, Judy. Look, never ever drop what you're doing to go and help. Now, if he shouts at you from another room, just tell him you can't hear him properly. Let him come to you.、Oh. Pretend you're really busy, even if you aren't.、Oh. Advice C. Say you'd love to chat, but you can't right now, and you'll ring back another time. How about that? Or say you've only got five minutes and mean it. I mean, say goodbye when the five minutes are up. Uh, uh, use a finishing up expression like, "Oh, it's been great talking to you, but I really must go now." Advice D. I do know what you mean because I've got friends like that too. I think the best thing to do, and I'm speaking from experience, is send your friend a text or email on the morning of your get together, and tell them you're a bit short of time today, so you don't want to hang around too much, and ask him or her to let you know if they're going to be late. <laughs> That should make them get the message. Advice E. Well, first of all,、uh, yeah. don't complain out loud because that might easily annoy the other person and make、right. them take even longer. No,、yeah. the the thing to do is just politely interrupt and ask the cashier a question. Now, this should bring the person ahead of you back、mm. to reality, and、uh, that'll remind the cashier that there are other people waiting to be served.